All right, we're up in the Fox 61 kitchen. We're going to be building some sandwiches in just a bit. We have Scott Kluger from the Hartford Baking Company back with us. It's been a while, and since yeah, then, yeah. a lot going on. Good stuff, right? Your second location? Yeah, we have a, a new store uh, that opened in West Hartford Center about two months ago. That's going really well so far. Um, but I really wanted to talk about bread today and health benefits of bread and artisan bread and what we do versus the commercial stuff. Right, you were saying it's really important to know what is going into your bread as far as right. how many ingredients, what the ingredients are, and how they're made, because it can really make a difference with your digestive system. Right, so the big thing is uh, fermentation. The bread is a fermented product like cheese, like wine, like beer, uh, bacteria, good bacteria, healthy bacteria like you find in yogurt or, or probiotics uh, is, is what really helps with fermentation. That's what makes it, uh, makes it work. So this is our bread. Mm -hmm. uh, we do a 20 to 24 hour fermentation. It takes a long time. Uh, I also brought some commercial bread here. Um, I'm not going to tell you what brand it is, but you can guess. Sure. Um, this is more of like a, a two hour process start to finish. Okay. So it doesn't give the gluten enough time to break down and become digestible. And that's why it's problematic in the inside. I think a lot of, of, of gluten intolerance and why bread gets a bread, bad rap is because of bread like this, which is what bread has become. It's become such an industrial product. Mm -hmm. What we're doing is we're really going back to the way bread was made 500 years ago, 1,000 years ago. Um, Going back to giving it the love it deserves. Yes, yeah, it's, it's still a handmade saying. product the yeah. way you do it. It's got four ingredients. I mean, these baguettes, this is flour, water, salt, and yeast. That's it. Mm -hmm. This, you're talking 20 ingredients or something like that. So it's crazy. So how long does like a baguette take from start to finish? Start to finish, we start the fermentation process the day before. Mm -hmm. So we, we're taking flour, water, and a tiny little bit of yeast for the, for the baguette, or if we're doing a sourdough bread, uh, just flour and water, and it's fermenting for about 18 hours. And then we mix in more flour, more water, salt, uh, other ingredients like uh, oats in the multigrain bread or olives in an olive bread. And in, by the time it's out of the oven, you're talking 20, 24 hours. So it is like a full day process. Oh, yeah. 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 I do a have thing. a question. You have a lot of different types of bread. Is there a certain type of bread that might be least uh, upsetting to someone's stomach if they do have gluten the issues? The more sourdough, I'd say, the better. Okay. There's a lot well, of studying, good. and you know, I couldn't quote anybody right now, but there's a lot of research being done into sourdough breads okay. um, and gluten intolerance. And I'm actually very, very curious to see what happens. And what is it with the sourdough bread? That it's a longer fermentation easy. process, okay. by definition. I mean, you can make uh, a baguette, if you could load it up with, with yeast, and you can make it happen in four hours. But the sourdoughs really need a long time. So like our ciabatta bread, this is one with olives, has a lot of sourdough in it. And sourdough, I just want to say, doesn't necessarily taste sour. Mm -hmm. it it's can more be done of the like process very, very, of it? It's more, yeah, it's that bacteria. Yeah, um, the good bacteria, made, obviously. Good We've bacteria, been hearing yeah. a lot about these days. Yeah. So like so this is great, the French peasant is great. Uh, I'm gonna make a sandwich with some of our stuff. This is our country sourdough, okay. white sourdough. This I has a little say, bit of a tang. This whole kitchen, it just smells so delicious. If you are a carb person like myself, <laughs> Yeah, this it is. Uh, really good. Let's make it. This is an Alt B. It's available at both of our stores. Mm -hmm. It's uh, avocado, lettuce, tomato, bacon, uh, a little bit of mayo, and we have our our sourdough bread. We have we use roasted tomatoes, which are great. Very very simple to make. Now, how would you do those at home if you just have a bunch cherry of tomatoes? cherry tomatoes? Low and slow in the oven. That's it. Okay, like that's, that's 200 degrees. It. I think like say? two. Yeah, two, okay. 250, For how 275. Long? I think the way we do it at the cafe, it's 45 minutes to an hour. Okay. It's a pretty long process. But that's but something great that you could do a whole it's bunch so of just great. You could let do it on a little crostini. You, you can have them. You pack them in olive oil. They'll right. sit in the fridge for, for a long time. So we got our avocado. And this is just, it's a great looking sandwich. And all of our breads, it really makes the sandwich. Well, the key is fresh. Fresh Freshness, bread, right? but, you know, crusty bread, quality bread. I mean, a lot honestly, of bacon. You can, I like that. You can take garbage <laughs> ingredients and put them on really good bread, and yeah. the sandwich will be ten times better. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, that is looking really good. <laughs> I'm gonna try. It's a, it's a big sandwich right now. It's pretty thick, but check that out on the inside. Yeah, this is. Now, what's neat about your new location is that you have a whole top floor. We have, yeah, we have the upstairs. Might not, be, really, really, not, might not realize it as they're just, just driving by. Yeah, a lot of people don't realize, but we yeah. have the entire building. It's like 40 or 50 seats upstairs. It's a great view down on uh, Farmington Avenue mm -hmm. if you want to sit and people watch. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a great spot. It's doing Good well stuff. so far. I've been there and I'm a fan. All right, well, I am. Uh, <laughs>
<laughs> I'm gonna just take some bacon. It's messy. It's, yeah, just it's pick a that little up. bit messy, but I will be definitely digging into this. I just don't want to get the avocado and mayonnaise yeah. all over the place. But we're gonna uh, toss things back to Amanda. She does an update for us on the breaking news.